Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to go through how to make a pure dry salt. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to make a salt called copper sulfate. Uh, you've probably made this in your lab uh, yourself, but I'm going to go through the main steps that you guys uh, need to remember. This is uh, one of your required practicals, so you are going to need to know how to carry it out. Um, the way this practical works is by reacting sulfuric acid, uh, usually it's a known amount, so we're going to measure out actually uh, 10 millilitres of sulfuric acid, uh, and we're going to whack it into our particle flask. Uh, the next stage is to add this copper oxide to um, my sulfuric acid, and we're actually going to add it uh, in excess. Uh, and what I mean by excess is to make sure that all of that sulfuric acid has reacted. So we're just going to keep adding copper oxide until uh, we can see that I've got some copper left at the bottom. You can do this reaction uh, where you heat um, when you uh, are adding the copper oxide as well, uh, and that works. But you don't have to do that, you can just add the copper oxide uh, in like this and give it a good stir. This is with a stirring rod. The next part of the reaction is by filtering that copper oxide which is unreacted inside. We said we added it in excess, so we need to get rid of that solid. And the way we're going to do that is by using filter paper. And the key to making filter paper is by folding it in half and folding it in half again. And you whack that inside your filter funnel just like this. Once you have filtered, you're left with uh, the residue, and this can just be thrown away. That's just copper oxide that hasn't reacted. And I've actually transferred the liquid that's come out uh, into what is called an evaporating basin. And we are now going to heat that, and we are going to heat it on a blue flame. Once you start to see crystals form like you have uh, just here and you've evaporated about half the liquid off, actually you want to take it off the heat. Once you've finished heating, uh, you should leave it on a window side. Uh, the longer you leave it, the bigger crystals you can get. Have a look outside, what a beautiful day. Uh, hopefully we'll get some really nice crystals coming out of it. I feel a bit like Walter White uh, always when I make these blue crystals. So I've left these copper sulfate crystals drying on the windowsill all afternoon and look how beautifully they've turned out. We have some beautiful blue large crystals inside uh, that evaporating basin. The longer you leave them, the bigger crystals you get. I've only left these uh, for an afternoon, but already look how beautiful and blue they are.